think what we need to begin to do is to, to look at mandatory reforms and look at those relative to the discretionary cuts that we have in the Budget Control Act. I think one of the victories uh, in this last process was we kept those Budget Control Act uh, uh, ceilings and the fact is it's the first time since 1955 and 1956 we've had two years in a row with less government spending now what we need to do is look at what we've done with the Budget Control Act and sequester and make it more intelligent and I think that's going to be a, a really good step positive and I think that's what the real focus is going to you know, be over the next 90 uh, days I actually wrote a bill and put my name on it okay with entitlement reforms uh, it was a balanced approach. Uh, did it a year ago, uh, a year ago right now, as a matter of fact. And look, I'm willing to get out there and, and do the tough things. There, I, I just hope we can find some partners that are willing to, to go beyond rise above and talk and actually put their name on a bill that will solve our nation's problems. I'm willing to do it. Lamar Alexander has done it. Uh, there are a few people in the Senate that will actually sit down and put their name on a bill. That's what I'm looking for, and I think that will help us move this debate along. As far as the White House goes, I, I do think there is possibly a little bit of an opening uh, to look at some mandatory changes. The President showed some leg, I'll have to give him some credit, uh, last April in his budget where he put some mandatory reforms in place. And so, look, I think the real place for discussion is going to be, uh, again, substituting some of those mandatory forms for the discretionary cuts so that if you look at the, and still with the same amount of reductions in spending, and if you look at the second 10 and third 10, you've actually done something great for our nation. Right. I think that's where most of the focus okay. is going to be, and I think we can get there.